This morning we turn our attention to a relatively rare disease and its devastating consequences. It's called pulmonary arterial hypertension and it can affect people really of all ages. And until recently, the treatment options were very limited. Well, now a South Florida hospital is taking part in a nationwide study into a brand new drug therapy for this condition. Gary Farmer was just 45 years old when the simple act of climbing a flight of stairs left him gasping for air. My heart started pounding so hard and wouldn't slow down. Gary was diagnosed with pulmonary arterial hypertension, or PAH. Pulmonary arterial hypertension is basically elevated blood pressure in the artery that carries the blood from the right heart to the lungs. At the time of his diagnosis in 1995, Gary wasn't given much hope. And I said, well, what's the bottom line? He said, stop work, get your affairs in order. I said, and? He said, two to five years. PAH is often diagnosed in its late stages and is more common among people with lung disease, HIV, people at risk of clots, and those with congenital heart disease. Symptoms include breathlessness, fatigue, dizziness, and chest pain. In the past, we only have one pathway to treat it and attack this disease. Now we have three different pathways that depend on the patient. We try a different stage, all, all of them combined. Dr. Esteban Escalar and his team at Mount Sinai Medical Center are now involved in a nationwide study into a new medication for PAH. It's not a very easy disease to treat, and you have to be very systematic and have a, you know, a coordinated team as we have here in Mount Sinai. Gary has made it 15 years past his original diagnosis, thanks in large part to advances in drug therapies. He hopes his story serves as a source of optimism for others. You never know what's going to happen in the next week or the next day. Uh, there may be something come up. By the way, some of the risk factors for PAH include family history, obesity, uh, obstructive sleep apnea, as well as people with HIV. People also living in higher altitudes for many years may increase the risk of PAH. Also, the uses of certain drugs like methamphetamines and the drug Finfin, remember that one? They've also been linked to PAH. Next on Local 10 News.